Good evening, my dear students. I am back with the second chapter of English literature that is written by Harinjanath Chattopadhyay. Before proceeding towards the chapter, let me give a small sketch about the poet. Harinjanath Chattopadhyay was an Indian English poet, actor, musician, and freedom fighter, born on 1898 and died on 1990. Some of his well-known poems are Shaper, Shaped, and Noon. He was awarded the Padma Bhushan in 1973. He played the evil court magician Burfi in Shatyajit Rai's film Goofy Gaini Bagabain. He was the youngest brother of the poet Sarojini Naidu. Let us start the poem. I will make a pretty paper boat and float it on the pond. I will steer it all alone alone and sail away beyond the seven mountains seven seas beyond the seven skies until I reach the kingdom where the mares have ruby eyes so the poet will make a pretty paper boat and he will float it on the pond he will continuously steer it alone and sail away beyond the seven mountains seven seas and seven skies until he reach the kingdom where the mares have ruby eyes Let's proceed to second para. I will make a simple paper boat and float it on the stream. My paper boat will sail away as softly as a dream beyond the seven waterfalls to the kingdom of the wise where dreamy drowsy elephants have emerald for eyes. Now the poet wants to make a simple paper boat and float it on the stream. So he is thinking that his paper boat will sail away as softly as a dream beyond the seven waterfalls to the kingdom of the wise where dreamy drowsy elephants elephants have emerald eyes so here is the last paragraph have a look i will make a lovely paper boat and float it on a lake until i reach some distant shore i will be wide awake i will pass beyond the seven walls to there where nothing dies because its little children have heaven in their eyes now the poet will make a lovely paper boat and he float it on a lake until he reach some distant shore he will remain awake the poet says that he will pass beyond the seven walls where nothing dies because a little children have heaven in their eyes this is the end of the poem Now you can see that there is a word meaning on the right hand side of the book. You can write it down and learn it. In the next video, I will come up with your textual questions and answers. Till then, take care.